Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am very excited because I have a Netrition haul for you guys. If you don't know what Netrition is, Netrition.com is a website that pretty much sells everything, um, I don't wanna say diet, but healthy related. And they have a bunch of low carb and keto options. So I placed an order, this is actually my second order with them. I placed an order last week and I just got my stuff. And normally the shipping is faster, but they had a power outage uh, last week. So it shipped early this week and I got it in. And I just wanted to show you guys what I got. I got some new goodies. I got some stuff I've tried before. And I wanted to do like an on-camera taste test with some of the things. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I really love Netrition. They have similar prices to what you would find on Amazon, but cheaper than in a store. And they just have really great customer service. They package things great. And I have really enjoyed my experiences with them. So... I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, like I said, they package things really great. I have the box here. I did have to go through it because some things um, need to go in the refrigerator or the freezer and they do provide you with information on what does. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I had put in the freezer. And I'll start with these great low carb bread company everything bagels. So I got the cinnamon, cinnamon sugar, cinnamon raisin, cinnamon flavor the last time I made an order and I do like them. So I decided to try the everything bagels this order. And one thing I will say, which I guess I'll have to see when I try these as well with the cinnamon sugar ones, there's almost a fine line of how much you can toast them because if you go a little too far in the toaster, they kind of get hard as a rock. You kind of have to like your bagels more on the chewy side. So I've had these just thawed out. I haven't put them in the toaster, or if I do put them in the toaster, I put them in for just a little bit um, and watch them as they go to make sure that they don't get too hard because then, like I said, they get hard as a rock. They're kind of supposed to be on the chewier side. So I'm excited to try these. The cinnamon sugar, you can kind of only put like butter or cream cheese on it. But I like with the everything bagel, you can go more for egg sandwiches. You can put like smoked salmon on top. You can make locks with it. So I just wanted to try this flavor to give me more options. Another frozen item that I got I actually used my other one last week was another great low carb bread company product it is their pizza crust this is the nine nine inch eight inch nine inch it doesn't say well they have like two little personal pizzas or you can get one of the bigger pizza and this has two grams of net carbs per slice and let's see so the serving servings per pizza is four slices so if you cut this in four that's two grams of carbs and you can find really low uh, low carb pizza sauce actually I have the rest of mine in the refrigerator this is the pizza sauce that I prefer to use the Ray Rouse um, homemade pizza sauce this only has two grams of net carbs per quarter of a cup. You're not gonna have quarter of a cup of pizza sauce on a slice of it, a slice of this pizza. So it's very low in carb, it's very good. There's, I mean, all the ingredients are, you know, I can read them, I know what they are, there's no chemicals. This is a great brand for uh, Alfredo and spaghetti sauce as well. So anyway, I just used that sauce, put toppings, last time we did pepperoni, mushrooms and jalapenos and there is kind of a learning curve with the pizza you have to learn how the crust is with your oven so i followed the rest the directions on the great low carb bread company website because it's a little bit different um or no i guess it's the same it says preheat oven to 400 and cook crust for five minutes checking frequently then add toppings and cook for another five to seven minutes that was what I did and I wish I would have cooked mine a little 
longer to make it a little more crispy so you just got to kind of learn as you go depending on how you like pizza but it did not have a nasty taste i saw some reviews on their website said that it had a nasty taste i didn't think it was nasty uh, it fed the pizza craving I was having and it was also very quick to make and it thaws out very fast. So I'm actually going to throw these back in the freezer. So this is what I got. I've used it before. I do recommend it. Okay, next thing I got that I had to go in the freezer. I got two Smart Cakes and there's two cakes in each of these. And there is... Um, Oh wow, there are zero grams of net carbs in these. Uh, but 38 calories in one, 76 in two. I got the lemon flavor and I got raspberry cream. Sorry if the brightness keeps going in and out. The sun keeps coming out and then going away in the window that I have right in front of me. So I got lemon and raspberry cream. I really enjoy these. These are too expensive. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. I think these are like three or four or something for just this pack. Um, but if you need a sweet treat sometimes, what I like to do with the lemon, well, both of them, is I like to thaw out uh, frozen fruit and I will put some Splenda in it and mix it up and let it sit in the fridge like overnight so I can have some frozen fruit on hand. And then I thaw out one of these. Uh, I think you just pop it in the, or in the microwave for a couple seconds. I thaw out one of these, I cut it in half, and then I put the frozen fruit with the juice from the Splenda in the middle. And it makes a nice little cake. You can top it with some whipped cream. There are so many things you can do with it, and they're just a nice treat. They're a good option. You know, sometimes you just really want to have something sweet, and this is nice to have. So that is my other frozen item that I bought. That was all I bought this time, frozen. I don't know if I said, but it was kind of obvious. I have purchased those before. So now we are going to get into the big box. So I actually have a little box inside of the big box. So first thing I'm going to pull out is these 4505 pork rinds. Um, I love pork rinds. I know a lot of people are kind of indifferent about it and feel a certain way about pork rinds. I personally love them. I have had these before. I thought this was the bigger bag, but apparently I can't read. And this is the jalapeno cheddar. So I've had these before from Kroger and these are great. I love these. Another great low carb bread company find is I did get some pasta elbows and they are seven grams of carbs per 56 grams or two ounces. There's four servings per container. I was thinking about maybe using this to make a mac and cheese or to maybe make like a goulash. Um, just wanted to have these on hand just in case. The one thing I still haven't used up from my last nutrition order, which let me show you. Is this fettuccine. I haven't used this yet. And this is same thing, seven grams of carbs per two ounces, four servings in this bag. So I have not used this yet. I don't know how it tastes obviously, but I just wanted that on hand. Cause you know, sometimes you don't have the zucchini noodles around. Sometimes you don't want to eat cauliflower. So it's nice to have an option that looks and hopefully tastes like the real thing. All right, another repeat buy are these high key cookies. I got two snickerdoodle and I got two chocolate chip. The chocolate chip to me tastes like Chips Ahoy, seriously. And it's kind of just the same thing. You feel like having a quick, you know, sweet treat, pop one or two of these in your mouth and they're great. Apparently they also have a lemon flavor now, which I have not tried and I love lemon, so I might have to get that next time. But I like these, my husband who eats carbs likes these. They're just a nice, you know, like I said, little, little thing to have on hand if you are craving something sweet. I have to say that is one thing that I enjoy about the low carb diet, even though when I first made my video back after being off for like eight months or something like that, um, I did say that my body likes low carb, but I don't. That is one thing about low carb that... I do enjoy is that there are so many options and so many 
substitutions you can make for things and you rarely feel deprived and that's what i really enjoy is that if i want something sweet i can find something sweet if i want something salty i can find something salty if i want to make a dip and don't have chips can't have chips there's options if i want to make a pie i can make a low carb pie you know there's just so many options you just have to work a little harder to find those uh other options so that's why i like low carb is that it really for me is easy to stick with so anyway back to what i have here so the next thing i got i got two bags of these i've never had these before but i'm gonna open them up and try them they are the Shrewd Keto Dippers Dark Chocolate Coated Protein Puffs. And there are two grams of net carbs per serving. So this bag is two grams of net carbs. So I am going to open one up. And I will be honest whether or not they taste good. I was hoping they would be more like a malt ball. But they're not. <laughs> They're very dark chocolatey. I know it don't help because they're dark chocolate dippers. Very dark chocolatey with a little crunch. They're not bad. They're okay. But if you like dark chocolate, you'll love them. I'm kind of in with dark chocolate. I like milk chocolate better. I need a drink after that. All right. Next thing, I am going to taste test these. I got these epic oven baked pork rinds in cinnamon churro flavor. <laughs> I got these oven baked pork rinds in cinnamon churro flavor. So these are one gram of carbs uh, per 0.5 ounces. There are five servings in here. So five, I think this whole bag is five carbs. So as I said before, I love pork rinds. I love cinnamon. They didn't smell that great on the taste smell. Eh, they're not bad. <laughs> no, that's gonna be my answer for everything. It's like they need a little bit more cinnamon. I could add more cinnamon in here. Yeah, they're okay. I'll eat them eventually. All right. I need to get two bags of those. All right. I also got these, another shrewd food. I got these protein puffs in the baked cheddar. Uh, I'm not going to try these because I just got one bag. Then I got Russell Stover's. I get Russell Stover's at my local Walmart and my local Meyer. I get this bag like these are my favorite Russell Stover's the mint I get the big bag from Walmart and I've tried a lot of their candy I like the mint that's my favorite I like the coconut but I've never seen this flavor strawberry flavored cream so I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these and most Russell Stover's candy is very low carb if no carb so two pieces is a serving Less than one gram car rant oh my god. Less than one gram carb of carb in two pieces of candy. These are good. I think the strawberry would taste better than a raspberry would, which I think they do have raspberry as well. That's pretty good. I like it. I'm glad I bought them. All right. This was the reason I made this order. Someone posted on, well, Netrition posted on Instagram, someone's story, and they showed this. Peppermint flavored white chocolate. Sorry, my camera cut off. You can get them pretty much at any grocery store now, but I'm not sure about this flavor but I will be stocking up on this flavor. This was so good, oh my God. Okay, so my little bag is down. Now we are moving on to the big bag and I'm just gonna start pulling things out. 
This is sort of a repurchase. These are the Pork King Good Pork Rind Crumbs, but I got them in the original flavor. I think the ones I have are the Italian flavor and they're a little strong, but it's okay, I'll still use them. I love to uh, bread chicken tenders. I love to bread, I make really good um, fried, or fried, yeah, like air fried um, breaded goat cheese balls, they're so good. Um, I make those and I bread them with the Italian flavor, but I'm gonna have this as well. So this is just getting a different flavor, but I really like these. It makes it easy so you don't have to take a bag of freaking pork rinds and <laughs> grind them up in a um, in a grinder and use them. It just takes away that step and it makes things easier. So I um, look forward to using these. I actually bought some goat cheese logs from Costco. So I like them, my husband likes them. If you like goat cheese, you will love them. You just pop them in the air fryer couple minutes pull them out they're like gooey you put a little balsamic vinaigrette on it oh, so good all right next thing I have here I've never tried this before this is the sola granola sola granola <laughs> sola granola in the blueberry cinnamon four grams of net carbs per bowl uh, two-thirds cup is a serving and yeah wait what does it say it said four grams net carbs per bowl 19 minus 4 is 15. Oh, okay. Wait. 9, 7. Okay, they're going per 1 third cup snack serving is 4 grams. 2 thirds of a cup is a 9. Nope, 9, 15, yeah, is 9. So read the, don't just trust the front, read the nutritional uh, facts on the back. So, oh wait, hold on. Okay, it says 19 grams total carbs minus four dietary fiber minus five grams allulose. Where is that? Where does it say that? Anyway, okay, it says four grams per bowl, per, four grams net carbs per bowl serving, two grams net carbs per snack serving, whatever. Okay, I'm going to open these up and give them a little taste test. One thing pre-low carb that I loved was Greek yogurt, granola, and fruit. So granola is actually like, it's, it's good for you with what's in it, but it's terrible for you with the calories. There's so many calories in granola, which there's a lot of calories in this. It's good. It really tastes the uh, artificial blueberry flavor. Freeze dried blueberries. Okay. Yeah, this will be good. In yogurt, I use the two good yogurt. Throw in a couple blueberries or raspberries. Top it with a little bit of this. You're good to go. It takes, like I said, this is why I like low carb because it allows you to have so many options. You like originally think, oh my God, I can't have granola. It's all carbs. I can't have yogurt, it's sugar. There are options, there are ways for you to get the things you love, but just in a different way. So, I like this, I'm glad I got it. I don't know if I repurchased it or I maybe try a different flavor. So, we'll see how I feel about that. All right, next, I'm not gonna be taste testing this. This is another thing by High Key. This is instant hot cereal, cinnamon spice, one gram net carb. One gram, net, one gram net carb in one third of a cup. Cooking instructions combine a quarter cup boiling water and a third cup cereal in a bowl and stir. Easy enough. Or you can do it in the microwave. I love oatmeal. Kind of the same thing with yogurt. I love oatmeal with fruit. I love yogurt with fruit. Um, so I wanted to try this. It had pretty good reviews. Uh, they did say if you don't like, like, chia seed uh, texture type things, you wouldn't like this. There's a lot of seeds in it. <laughs> Hemp seed, coconut sunflower seeds, pecans, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds. All right, so, sorry. My granola is stuck in my throat. 
But yeah, I'm excited to try this, see how I like it. Throw a little bit of fruit on top, throw a little bit of cinnamon on top, and we're good to go. All right, we're getting to the bottom here, but still a couple things. This is another thing that I'm very interested in trying, which I will try on camera. I just have to grab a spoon. This is um, the Nec Nexcal Nextella Crunchy Chocolate Hazelnut Spread Palm Oil Free. So this is like a low carb Nutella. Let's see, four grams of net carbs in two tablespoons. And I did read, this had a lot of great reviews, but people said you have to be careful because you can eat the whole jar. And I go, oh my goodness. I got the crunchy flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and try those right now because I am someone who loves Nutella. Oh, oh, oh. Like I thought it'd be more of like an oily texture. Like no, that. That stuff is stuck in there. All right. Oh, that's good though. <laughs> that tastes like Nutella. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Okay. This is very good. I'd recommend that. That's very good. All right. Next thing I got. these before I know what this is I have two cans of hearts of palm lasagna sheets I want to make like low carb lasagna which besides the noodles everything else in the lasagna is low carb ricotta cheese tomato sauce um, or pasta sauce whatever you're gonna use if you put ground beef in it if you put sausage in it everything else is low carb but the noodles so this takes place of that so I'm excited to try this out I know a lot of people have already tried it Another thing that I haven't tried before, but I'm excited to, is, <laughs> okay. it is Eden Organic Black Soybeans. Beans are pretty high in carbs. These are one gram of net carb per half a cup. I want to use this to make chili. I love making chili. My husband loves eating my chili. I am a big chili eater. I can't really have it on low carb uh, unless I had it without beans. My husband loves the beans and chili. I love the beans and chili, so my dog's trying to eat water. So this is a nice alternative. I'm excited to make chili with this to see if there's much of a flavor difference, but I would hope there isn't. And also I hope there isn't much of a texture difference, but I'm glad that they have an option for people like me who like chili and are on a low carb diet. And I got three cans of those hoping that um, I will like them. All right, last thing I got, another thing that a lot of people eat in daily life that is full of sugar, it's basically like eating a spoonful of sugar, is jam. It is very hard to find good tasting, sugar-free jam. Russell Stover's makes one, I think it's gross. I've tried every flavor, I think they're gross. And they're also higher in carbs. I think the raspberry is normally higher in carbs, like four grams of net carbs for a tablespoon. Actually, let me, let me double check. Yes, I have some Smuckers, did I say Russell Stover's? I don't even know if I did. Ignore it if I did. Smuckers, uh, sugar-free red raspberry preserves, five grams of carbs in a tablespoon. I got this because I was desperate and then I got it and tried it and I don't even like how it tastes. So I got this the last time I made a nutrition order. It is Nature's Hollow Strawberry Jam. It is two grams of net carbs per one tablespoon. This stuff is amazing. This is great. Uh, it is the closest tasting thing to strawberry jam that I can find. I have it on a piece of zero gram carb bread uh, that I get from Costco. Put it with butter, put it with peanut butter. I do not feel like I am deprived at all. So I got another strawberry jam because I'm almost out of the one I have. And they have a bunch of different flavors too. And so I decided to try the peach jam. I love peach. I love peach jam. I actually think... I'm gonna do a taste test on this right now to see how it tastes. All right, grabbing a clean spoon. My dog keeps looking at me. He's like, um, mom, you gotta make my lunch. Okay, it doesn't really smell like anything. Let me give it a quick taste test. Oh no. 
don't know. It might be because I just ate a bunch of other things. But this tastes like nothing. Maybe if I like stir it around better and put it in the fridge, it'll be better. But oh no, it tastes like nothing. But I know the strawberry is good. I've had the strawberry. I know it's good. And I think that's it. That's everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little random haul and taste test. Um, like I said, I really love Nutrition. I really love their prices. Uh, I think you have to spend, the only thing I don't like is their shipping. You have to spend over, I think, $100 or $75 to get free shipping. But then the shipping is like a flat rate of, I think, like $6 or something. So it's not bad. That's why I usually stock up when I have nothing left. So I easily spend that $100. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions about Nutrition or their products or anything you see here, just let me know. Um, and that's about it. I have the red light of death blinking at me telling me my battery's about to die. So I'm going to go ahead and feed my dog and then have some lunch and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.